Allopathic Medicine, Wikipedia Article Audio Allopathic medicine is an expression commonly used in India and other countries like Ghana and Korea to refer to modern systems of medicine. The term is also used by homeopaths and proponents of other forms of alternative medicine to refer to mainstream medical use of pharmacologically active agents or physical interventions to treat or suppress symptoms or pathophysiologic processes of diseases or conditions. The expression was coined in 1810 by the creator of homeopathy, Samuel Hahnemann. In such circles, the expression allopathic medicine is still used to refer to the broad category of medical practice that is sometimes called Western medicine, biomedicine, evidence-based medicine, or modern medicine. Allopathic medicine and allopathy are terms coined in the early 19th century by Samuel Hahnemann, the founder of homeopathy, as a synonym for mainstream medicine. Etymology History The practice of medicine in both Europe and North America during the early 19th century is sometimes referred to as heroic medicine because of the extreme measures sometimes employed in an effort to treat diseases. The term allopath was used by Hahnemann and other early homeopaths to highlight the difference they perceived between homeopathy and the medicine of that time. With the term allopathy, Hahnemann intended to point out how physicians with conventional training employed therapeutic approaches that, in his view, merely treated symptoms and failed to address the disharmony produced by the underlying disease. Homeopaths saw such symptomatic treatments as opposites treating opposites and believed these conventional methods were harmful to patients. Practitioners of alternative medicine have used the term allopathic medicine to refer to the practice of conventional medicine in both Europe and the United States since the 19th century. The term allopathic was used throughout the 19th century as a derogatory term for the practitioners of heroic medicine, a precursor to modern medicine that did not rely on evidence. James Warden discusses this historical pejorative usage. One form of verbal warfare used in retaliation by irregulars was the word allopathy. Allopathy and allopathic were liberally employed as pejoratives by all irregular physicians of the 19th century, and the terms were considered highly offensive by those at whom they were directed. The generally uncomplaining acceptance of allopathic medicine by today's physicians is an indication of both a lack of awareness of the term's historical use and the recent thawing of relations between irregulars and allopaths. Current The controversy surrounding the term can be traced to its original usage during a heated 19th century debate between practitioners of homeopathy and those they derisively referred to as allopaths. Hahnemann used allopathy to refer to what he saw as a system of medicine that combats disease by using remedies that produce effects in a healthy subject that are different from the effects produced by the disease to be treated. The distinction comes from the use in homeopathy of substances that are meant to cause similar effects as the symptoms of a disease to treat patients. As used by homeopaths, the term allopathy has always referred to the principle of curing disease by administering substances that produce other symptoms than the symptoms produced by a disease. For example, Part of an allopathic treatment for fever may include the use of a drug which reduces the fever, while also including a drug that attacks the cause of the fever. A homeopathic treatment for fever, by contrast, is one that uses a diluted and succussed dosage of a substance, usually containing no actual particles of that substance, that in an undiluted and unsuccussed form would induce fever in a healthy person. Hahnemann used this term to distinguish medicine as practiced in his time from his use of infinitesimally small doses of substances to treat the spiritual causes of illness. 
The Companion Encyclopedia of the History of Medicine states that Hahnemann gave an all-embracing name to regular practice, calling it allopathy. This term, however imprecise, was employed by his followers or other unorthodox movements to identify the prevailing methods as constituting nothing more than a competing school of medicine, however dominant in terms of number of practitioner proponents and patients. In the 19th century, some pharmacies labeled their products with the terms allopathic or homeopathic. Contrary to the present usage, Hahnemann reserved the term allopathic medicine to the practice of treating diseases by means of drugs inducing symptoms unrelated to those of the disease. He called the practice of treating diseases by means of drugs producing symptoms opposite to those of the patient in antiopathic or antipathic medicine. After Hahnemann's death, the term enantiopathy fell into disuse and the two concepts of allopathy and enantiopathy have been more or less unified. Both, however, indicate what Hahnemann thought about contemporary conventional medicine, rather than the current ideas of his colleagues. Conventional physicians had never assumed that the therapeutic effects of drugs were necessarily related to the symptoms they caused in the healthy, e.g., James Lind in 1747 systematically tested several common substances and foods for their effect on scurvy and discovered that lemon juice was specifically active. He clearly did not select lemon juice because it caused symptoms in the healthy man, either similar or opposite to those of scurvy. Use of the term remains common among homeopaths and has spread to other alternative medicine practices. The meaning implied by the label has never been accepted by conventional medicine and is still considered pejorative by some. William Jarvis, an expert on alternative medicine and public health, states that although many modern therapies can be construed to conform to an allopathic rationale, standard medicine has never paid allegiance to an allopathic principle and that the label allopath was considered highly derisive by regular medicine. Many conventional medical treatments clearly do not fit the nominal definition of allopathy, as they seek to prevent illness, or remove the cause of an illness by acting on the cause of disease.